Welcome back to the series Building Web APIs with Azure Functions. This is the second video of the series. In this video, we will be creating our first function on Azure Portal. Let's start off with logging into Azure Portal. Before we create any Azure functions, let's create a resource group. It helps us organize our Azure resources. It's like a folder for our files. Let's search for resource group and click on it. Then let's click on create. Let's give our resource group a name and click next. It's always good practice to create tags, but for this tutorial, we will skip on tags and click create. Once the resource group is created, a notification will pop up on your top right corner. Let's go into the resource group and click add and let's search for function app and click create. As you can see, the subscription and the resource group is already selected. Let's give a name. And we will be publishing code, not a Docker container. And we will select our runtime stack as Node.js since we will be writing our functions in TypeScript. Let's use the latest version and let's leave the region as it is. And let's move on to hosting. Hosting section is where we configure where to store our code, how to execute it and how we should be built. We will give a nice name for our storage account and we will be choosing Windows as our operating system because only Windows functions can be modified in the Azure portal. We will be using consumption or serverless as our plan type. We will revisit rest of the plan types in a later video. Let's go to monitoring. We will leave monitoring in the default settings and we will skip setting tags. Let's go to review and create and let's create. Once the function app is created, let's go into it and let's click on functions and click on add. Let's select develop in portal as our development environment. Let's select HTTP trigger as trigger for our function. Let's name our function as hello world and let's set authorization level as anonymous. We will discuss how to set authorization on a later video. Once the function is created, click on code plus test. Let's remove all this code. and modify the response body. Don't forget to click save. Let's go to test and run. In the portal test bed, we can select the HTTP method, any keys for authorization, query parameters, headers and body. For this example, we don't need any of these. Let's go with the default settings and click on run. As you can see, we get the response from our first Azure function. We have successfully created our first Azure function on the portal. In the next video, we will be looking into how we can set up our local dev environment and do the development on your local machines. Before we wrap up the video, let's delete all the resources that we created.